Okay, so let's try this again. Positive affirmations. Positive affirmations for me um, started when I read The Power of I Am because that's really what he starts talking about is going through these negative thoughts that we have about ourselves and how we, what we believe about ourselves and, and lies that we tell ourselves and then turning those into the power of who you are, what you are, and this phrase of I am, okay? So I want you to start thinking about those negative things that you believe about yourself. I am, you know, I'm unorganized, I'm impatient, I'm not beautiful, I have big thighs, I have a flabby belly, or things like that, that you speak negative about yourself, whether they are physical attributes, your characteristics, things like that, that might weigh you down, or things you think about when you look in the mirror. I want you to write those down. I know that's going to be really tough to do, to actually write out those thoughts, but it's really liberating to get those thoughts on the paper. Because now, once you have them written out, you can take those negative statements, and I want you to start moving them into a positive statement. So for me, for example, I really struggled with food. I struggled with food for a very long time. I struggled seeing it as fuel. I saw it as the enemy and it made me gain weight. That's what I saw it as. I didn't see it as my body needed this to function. And now, seven, eight years after, you know, I dealt with that, I see food as fuel. So before, say, food makes me fat or I'm fat from food, and now I say, food is fuel. My body needs food to function. And even now I can take it step one step further and I can say, food is Hayden's fuel. Food provides nourishment for Hayden because it's not just me anymore. I'm nursing exclusively Hayden. And so food has a whole purpose now that I turned from a negative to a positive. And so on those days where the body image stuff comes up or when the eating disorder habits and characteristics sneak in, I remind myself that I need this for fuel. I just have to make the right choices. Food isn't the enemy, it was the choices that I was making. But food is fuel for me. My thighs, I hated my thighs in college, everywhere. I, I mean, people called me thunder thighs. Like it was a tough, tough body part for me to learn to love. And now I, I, I would say I have big thighs, I have thunder thighs. And now I talk about what those do for me. I listed out what those did for me. I ran a half marathon three times. I've been able to run a train for a half marathon and push a double stroller. I've been able to carry two pregnancies, one twin pregnancy. I've been able to birth a baby with these thighs. I've been able to get up and function and take care of my kids with these thighs. And so I start speaking positive about what those have done for me and seeing them in a positive light instead of negative. The scale, the scale is another one. I talked about it earlier, it's a liar, it's a teaser, it's the devil. Speak positive about it. The scale does not define me. The scale is not my story. The scale does not tell my story. I am more than what the scale represents. Give yourself that positive affirmation for that negative mindset that you have, whether it's about you, a body part, something, speak a positive statement about it and you're gonna start changing your mindset. Okay, so a few of mine are, like I said, you can do these for different areas of your life. I was made to rise. I know that I was made for more. I come from no confidence. I come from not believing that I had any greatness to give or that I didn't have a purpose. So I was made to rise. My body is more than a number. My body, what it does daily, is more than a number on a scale. It's more than a set pant size. It is more than a body fat percentage. I am a mom and I'm, I'm a wife first. God will call me to do something and then he will qualify me. I struggle with knowing like, I don't have what it takes. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm gonna accomplish this. And I just have to remember that God's gonna call me somewhere and then I have to be confident that he's gonna qualify me to do that. I'm a great leader. My story can change someone's life. Sometimes when I post on social media, I'm like, why does this matter? What am I doing? Who really cares? But then I see all of you in here and I see all of my past challengers and I see the 700 new moms in my new mommy's group. And I know that by me sharing my story, my struggles, my triumphs, I can help so many people with one thing. I eat to fuel my body. And God has plans for me I haven't even dreamt of yet. And that just reminds me and keeps me knowing that 
my story is not done. I'm not finished. There's more to be told. There's more to be had. And so those are on my desk so that when I sit down for work or when I pass by my office, I'm able to see those and remind myself. I see that frame and I know what's on there. And I'm able to remind myself of everything positive about the areas that I struggle in instead of thinking about the negative. So if you do nothing else in this group, if you don't lose a single freaking pound, but you feel better and you start thinking better about yourself, about your body, about your potential, about what your purpose is, about where you want to go in life, man, that, that means so much more. That is what Beachbody has given me. And that's what I hope to provide for you is to help you see all that you are capable of, all that you have and how beautiful you truly are. So today what I want you to do tonight through this week, um, I want you to take some time with these if you need them, but I want you to pick a personal development book, one of these five, if there's an area that you're particularly struggling with, I encourage you to read 10 minutes a day. It will change your life. And then I want you to think about one or two affirmations um, about your body, about a negative belief you have, and turn that into an I am statement. I am beautiful. I am disciplined. I am worthy. I am capable. Or I am more than a number. Food is fuel. Whatever that has to be for you, but two affirmations that you can start to repeat to yourself on the daily, through the day, to help you stay focused and positive and focused on the right things. So I hope this is helpful. I can't wait to hear what book you choose, and I can't wait to hear what affirmations you choose to help you get through your day and accomplish your goal.